This is the third part of the course Get Started with Artemis Suite. In this clip we will change the legend and the title in the data viewer and save the setting as default. We continue right at the spot where we stopped in clip number two. We are still here and can try something out. In our diagram here is the way our legend is created. Uh, just make this a little bit bigger here for you. This is the title. Let's go see on top. And this is a legend. Um, just to make it easier, we start from nothing. So I delete all the information which are in there so we don't have any legend over. And then we can add. And yet you can add anything. If you like to know what was the time of the recording, what was the setting of the FFT, whatever you want to have in your legend can be organized here, all right? And we want to know what was the data in the statistic. So we go here for statistics and there is the file statistic because different files have been averaged. And first of all, he offers me file statistic function. Double click and you have the file statistic function here. And you can see here, this is an average, which already is quite a lot of information. This is already too much. So I delete this one and go for the next option with the file statistic function aggregation. So this is just an ask, which is much shorter. Keep it short and small, okay? Well, this is quite tiny, this uh, font. You can organize your font style here. Maybe go for eleven to have a bigger font here. Um, next thing is the, I like to know how many um, measurements have been in this average. So I just add here, maybe a free space, uh, open, and then I enter the lot, the lot size, okay, and close it. So it's a completely freestyle average of three. Okay, fine, what else? Maybe blank space. Uh, wow, well, there it is, the file statistic names of the files. Okay, open it down and explode. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening now? It's more than I expected. Let's check this. Um, average three, and then there's the name of the file. What's quite long, sorry. Uh, Robos01 is the name of my lawnmower. Uh, the Katek one is right. Setup was mulching, repetition one, first. And then it come Robust Zero One, Katai One, Seven Repetition Two. This is right. That was the second one, and Robust Zero blah, 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 and Repetition Three. Yes, um, this is definitely right, and this is definitely too much information because it repeats itself. Um, need some intelligence here, and there it is. So we don't use file statistic name in this case. What we can do is just the common part of file statistic names. Click on that one, and it just compare what he has averaged. And the same is the robust one, Kata one, setup matching, rep. One, two, three, what the three different kinds. Um, maybe I want to know this information. Just show you what's possible. You can just say open heater and there we give the individual parts maybe in there and close it again. And there will be a petition of one, two, and three. This is another way to describe it, okay? So a lot of options. Or you can also add um, the information that this was a max here. Uh, of two channels, so that will be channel statistics. Um, and then just the abbreviation, that will be the maximum, okay? You can add what you want in your legend just right here. I recommend keep it simple. That confuse the people. So I think we can take off this max information. Nobody will ask for that. And maybe also the information about this um, can also be take off, come, come. make it simple, okay? Since the theme is Suite 9, there's also a direct link to this common way of organizing your description in statistic. That means you can directly use Compose File Statistic Names, my favorite, and you get exactly what I created manually. That's my normal setup, right? And here you see that this one is only created by two averages of one and two, and this was only one average. If you like this information in there, keep it in there. If you want to hide this information, uh, maybe we take this off here. Okay, now it's fine. So now I can go here and wherever I hit it, I can see, okay, the best part was cut height one, setup mulching. Well, cool, that's the cool result, but it's not really surprising. It means the cut height was one, was really close to the ground and mulching means everyone was close. So this is obviously the softest noise that can be heard. On the highest area, maybe here around, cut height seven, of course, high, 
and basket of course is a big hole in the back that creates the biggest noise. And there is more to change in the data view. Here on top I see the show title. That means what is here on top. Margin cut one. This is not interesting. Here it's only interesting what kind of analysis I see here. So no mark group name, just no file name, the analysis name. Maybe I put in the name analysis. So like this and no statistic package here needed. It's only confusing. So now it's in, it tells me analysis level versus time. I see all these setups I made in the data viewer is only applied to my first data viewer, not the other ones. Mm. How could change this? I don't want to repeat everything again. And that's why I click in here on this data viewer. Here are the settings of this data viewer. And show legend, for example, right mouse click and I can copy these settings, which was quite tricky. And I go to another data viewer and here again, show legend and paste it. So then he has the same setting like the other one. Also the title can be explained, but it is not, the title has not changed because it's depending where you click. If I want to have all the setup I changed here, for example, I also can change the line style here. Maybe all these lines which are used um, like to get uh, a bigger th thickness here like this. I can go here on 2D diagrams. So all options for the 2D diagrams, right mouse click, copy, and I go to the other ones and say here on 2D diagrams option paste. And they got the same line style and the same format. And also the, three, the third one can be pasted. Okay, then everything's fine. And to make it safe for, for all time now, I can go back to my project. And also on this data viewer, which is in my project, I can paste it. But maybe I don't want that. Maybe I need this data viewer as a standard. Uh, I create a new one. This is magic. Take the data viewer and drag it. Now I can place it anywhere else. But if I press now the magic key, which is the control key in our team is, everything that works good with the mouse turn out to be magic if you press, press control. So I press control, now you see it has a plus sign. So if I now drop it, I have another data viewer, which is a copy of the first one. And this one now, I can go to the default setting of the 2D diagram, which is like everyone else. And here again, I say can set paste and all the settings I adjusted is now in this data viewer. And of course, because this is a special data viewer, maybe I like to rename it and call it maybe data viewer for lawn mowers, yeah, like this. So now I can choose, I want to add this kind of setup for a special customer or this kind of setup for another customer for another kind of analysis. So you have different targets, different setups automatically in one project. Great. Let's see what comes out. We have all the recordings here. This is our data viewer. Record one more time. We calculate it. And there we are. A lot of lines in here and actually, um, if I want to compare now these different setups we have here, cut I one, four, seven, eight, what I have to do is maybe I zoom in here and then I start to open this one. Uh, I need to guess the right value. I see this is the lowest, this is the highest. The lines doesn't help me that clearly. I want to have an average of this period of time more and more time data reduction. Uh, of course, I can open one of the right mouse click of a data cursor and then I can read the values here at a certain point. But here I want an average from left to the right. This is already done because it's just such a common way to interpret this data. Um, we just have to display it here. We call it single values. So in the diagram, in our legend, I just add um, my single values uh, the automatic one and then I get here a list. Here are my information. Cut high one setup matching is 92 and cut high seven with a basket the open one is 95. So here this is the main information just this number. I don't have to read it out here. Let's go back to our project. All these data views we have opened so far we don't need anymore. Now we go to another step. Let's close all these ones. Right mouse click and there is the option close group. So everything goes off, which you don't need. <laughs> All these data work, which has been treated the same way on one group and can be deleted as one group. It's cool. OK, 
Okay, next option as a destination, we only concentrate concentrate on the single ways. Oh, now I forgot to put in the single ways in my magic data viewer lawnmower. Click in here, not a problem. Here we want to have in the legend, uh, where was it? Uh, single values, the automatic one, maybe put some free space in between. Okay, got it. There's also more you can change in your magic lawnmower diagram. For example, these three analysis should be directly on three pages, more space. So one page is for each analysis settings. And now it's important, save your project. It's open and save it. So next time you want to do another lawnmower analysis, you only go on the start menu and here you got your project. Just click on it and you got exactly all that we have put in there one click away. Okay, then you directly go in your project, put in your data and you're done. Okay, that's the idea. Next video, I'll show you how to adapt these single values and how to make them work for you. Step by step. Thank you.